Welcome to the West Texas town of El Paso, the Sun Bowl, and home to the UTEP Miners. And it's always a pleasure to come out this way, and we're certainly excited about the game we have in store. Little gets the blood boiling. Why like a rivalry game? Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see, the winners of three straight, the Sam Houston Bearcats. Facing a fellow Conference USA opponent, the UTEP Miners. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and just... And the Miners will put total leather to crank us up. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Bearcats offense takes the field. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys. And it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Pollock. And you got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. Looking downfield, it's Bauer. It's complete to the right. No chance to run, but still a solid pickup on that one. Now they'll face third and four in their first possession of the game. Looking to throw. And that third down pass had some serious juice, but they couldn't hook up. The Bearcats will call on their punt team. Gets off his first one of the day. He was called on five times in the victory last week. He gets a block. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yard you can and help out the offense. So the UTEP Miners offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. He's going to take off. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. The Miners line up to punt it away. Catch is made at the 15. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable in that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. To the air on first down. With the catch, it's Smith. They make the tackle at the 36, but they're in plus territory now with the 15-yard pickup. From the gun, running back gets the give. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. The give from the gun. Defense there to stop him after a gain of three, but he is inside the 30 to the 29. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to show up and play your best football in games like this. Not a lot there. Picks up one inside the 20 to the 19. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to pass. It's Bauer. He's right on target. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there. And still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Wants to throw on third down. Fires to the wideout. 
He makes a grab. And he'll run out of bounds just short of the goal line. Wanted to get it in, but couldn't quite get home. On the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Tries again to get it in. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. And the extra point makes it 7 nothing. They took it 71 yards down the field, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. On the move from inside is 5. Makes a move. He's got an alley. He's going to get loose. Smashes through the tackle. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown. A field flipping machine. Take it on one end, return it to the other. And now you get to celebrate. What a beautiful job. We always talk about defense, we always talk about offense. But man, when your special teams come through for you and score, it is huge and it provides such a boost for the crowd. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Right down the middle. So a dynamite play there. 99 yards. He took it back for the touchdown. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. On third down, he drops the throw. Pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And they didn't have to blitz. They brought the dime package, more speed on the field so we can cover the back end and then let the D-line do what great D-line do. The Bearcats will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He's got great speed. Return's going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Catch in the middle. It's Goodman. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Looking for a man. It's Glocklear. Throws to the wideout. He caught it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, UCAP. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, Dave. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. On the run from inside his own five. 
He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Finds a tight end. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. And the Bearcats will punt it away on fourth down. Looking for a block, it's Smith. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. He'll keep it himself. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Grabbed behind the line, it's Smith. Tackle is made after the first down. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Give to the running back. And he'll pick up a few yards before he's dragged down, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and UTEP has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. of time left and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. Flips it out in the flat. Put it right on him, sweet play, good pick up and they'll move the chains with the first down. And the Miners are on the move. Give to the back. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking to throw, it's Locklear. He's got his man. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Third and short from the 26. Pretty easy field goal range, but they'd love to pick up the first. Fights his way for a couple, but stops short of the marker. It's fourth and one. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. On fourth down, trying to keep the drive alive with the run. The Miners have enough for the first down. They put this ball on lockdown. Eighth play of the drive coming up. Pocket starts to collapse. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. Man, that's a great example of KYP. Know your personnel. A QB that doesn't run great, trying to get outside of the pocket. Nice job by the defense applying pressure and running him down and getting the huge loss. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. Out of the gun, the running back has it. How much lingerie is this guy gonna leave on the deck as he gets it down to the 25? They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Trying to get to it. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. Offense. Well, that's not Lamar Jackson back there scrambling around. This is a guy the defense felt like if we can get him out of the pocket and flush him, we can get after him and chase him, bring him down. And they did that one pretty easy there, getting the sack. And the Miners will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt goes out of bounds. We'll see where the officials spot it, but they certainly gave him no opportunity for a return. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Oh, man, what a missed opportunity. Big fella almost got to run with the ball. Instead, it falls incomplete and brings up second down. Dropping back, it's Bauer. 
working the middle of the field, and it's complete. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Now improvising, trying to make magic with his feet. Open space at the 25. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Fantastic job there, buying time and then using his speed to go get a huge chunk play. And you saw on defense, a lot of people in the back end with their heads turned around chasing receivers. It's dangerous. You want to play man coverage. You don't want to keep your eyes on the quarterback. You're going to pay for it. You saw it right there. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Looking for a gap. It's Gentry. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. The RPO fire complete to the left. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Let's see what they do on third down. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. Wants to throw on first down. Still looking, on the move. Fights off a defender. Bulldozes his way through. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. On the run, still looking. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The quarterback just has to be more aware of the situation. First down, goal to go situation. You cannot take a sack. So the QB, if no one's open, you got to make sure you're throwing that ball out of the end zone and helping your offense out. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. And they'll get him on the ground at the three-yard line. They keep pushing forward down to the three, but now it's third and goal. Back to throw. It's Bauer. Now adjusting. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Bearcats! That touchdown was a clinic in keeping your offense on the field and wearing the other defense out. Sometimes your best defense is your own offense, being able to stay on the field. You're absolutely right, Reese. That was a clinic. Running the ball, playing at great rhythm and pace, QB making good, smart decisions, and not shooting yourselves in the foot. No penalties, no turnovers. It doesn't get any better than that last drive. And he added the extra point. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. UTEP has the ball, the offense, ready to go back to work. He's going to pass. Got his man out of the backfield. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Out across the 30 to the 39 after getting 10 on that one. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Spike. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. He's looking to throw. Nice catch on the sideline and great effort to stay in bounds. The clock has stopped, and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. Pressure coming. And they got him for the sack. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. The Miners will send out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one.
And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. A first down for the offense. To the air, it's Bauer. Unloads to the wideout. Complete to the right. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. He wants to throw. Scrambling away. Still on his feet at the 45. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. And that's a first down for the offense. Going up top on first down. Makes the grab. It's Evans. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. The Bearcats will snap it on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, just keeps firing. He'll take a shot. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. The holder will kneel at the 24, a 34-yarder coming from the right hatch. And it's right down the boulevard. And now they take the lead. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. He'll return it. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. UTEP has the ball, and the minor offense ready to go to work. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. In second and ten, he'll throw again. Looking left. It's complete. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. To throw, it's block clear. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. Line getting set on second down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to it. From the gun, the ground game. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. Well, he's just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. 
That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. On second down, looking to throw. Gets it out fast. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. First down, 10 yards to go. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. And the Miners send out the punt unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. The Meerkat offense ready to go back to work. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, Dave. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. Movement here from the tight end. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Shoots it to the left. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. He'll just keep slinging it. This one's complete. Nice patience by the quarterback here, working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. He'll try to do it himself. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And the Bearcats are moving quickly down the field. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. That's caught. It's Smith. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. The Bearcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off play action on first down. Trying to escape and get it himself. How about that nice run from this junior quarterback? Just inside the red zone, first and 10 from the 19. From the gun, the running back has it. And a nine yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. The give to the back. And the Bearcats pick up the first down. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. They'll run it on first and goal. Dragged down at the six after a pickup of two. Second and goal for this offense. Quarterback on the keeper. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Sam Houston. Stopping the option is hard, but mission number one is I better make the quarterback make a read and get the ball out of his hands. The defense hasn't done that today. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game off the option. Look. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. 24, you 14. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. 
Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. UTEP has the ball, the offense ready to go back to work. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops, Palmer, and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Coming after it. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And you could easily argue the biggest reason this team is trailing here in the second half is because they have not been able to protect their quarterback tonight. They've already given up five sacks in the game, and you just saw another one right there. This offensive line has had problems all night long. The Miners decide to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Slips through the line. Looking for running room. He'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Lining up from the 34 on first down. That's a first down for the offense. To the ground with the back. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Back to throw. It's Bauer. Quarterback now on the run. Still looking. And he can't find a receiver. And down he goes. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard, and he did. And often is good, too. The most you can get to him, but great job by the defense, rushing the quarterback, understanding pass, and getting the big fella on the ground. Balls have the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. The play-action fake. Quickly to the tight end. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. That's the end of the period, and Sam Houston has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. He'll pull it on the read. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. The Bearcats have pushed it inside the 20. The give out of the gun. Knocked down after a pickup of six, and they're trying to impose their will in the red zone. Balls at the 13. On third and short, the power run here. And the defense had its hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. It is perfect. And they'll push that lead out a little further. Sam Houston, 27, Utah, 14. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. 
He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. Hand off from the gun. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They go to the draw. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. Third down after the run. They'll try to run for it. And the Miners brought to the ground, but not before picking up the first. Here's his offense with a fresh set of downs. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Second and ten after the previous play. Looking to throw, it's block clear. Getting some heat. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Well, the problem for this offense now late in the game, trailing by a bunch of points, is that the defense knows they're going to throw the football. And right now, offensively, they cannot protect the edge. You saw the speed coming from the outside. He was able to get to the quarterback for another negative play. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Got his man to the left. And he's brought down after a huge completion. The Miners want to crank the tempo. They're trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter. Their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. Got it behind the line. It's White. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And that's a UTEP first down. Looking to move it through the air. Got him downfield. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll go right back to the run. Mark it off as a six-yard game down to the six-yard line. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. They're going to go to the air on third and short. And the quarterback caught on two and sacked at the 12. That is now the seventh sack on defense. This now, offense cannot protect their QB. It doesn't matter if the defense is blitzing or if they're just winning one-on-one. -on -one. Seven sacks? That's just ridiculous. And he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown! They get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. Lining up to add another. is on for the extra point. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. 27, 21. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. The back goes in motion. Grab behind the line. It's Gentry. 
Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. The Bearcats come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. But how about the strong safety on that blitz? Great job timing it and also getting to the quarterback. Sometimes you're going to have to negotiate around tight ends and running backs, and that strong safety, he just beelined into the backfield. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. This is the type of play that could be a pivotal moment. Tight game, third and long coming. They're bringing heat. He's going to run it. And he has vexed his defense with the scrambles. Another first down and yet another big game. And here comes play number six of the drive. The give to the tailback. Defense there to stop him after a gain of three, but he is inside the 30 to the 29. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. The give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. From the gun, running back on the move. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Never a doubt. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing the game. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. UTEP has the ball, the offense ready to go back to work. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. But it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was... Fires into traffic, intercepted. He was looking for that big return to go with the pick, but he'll set him up in business at the 36. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. Out comes the offense as they get set to take over. Now on the option. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. you got to believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. Keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Trying to move them on the counter. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Bearcats will line up to punt it away. And he tried to pin him deep with that punt. Instead, it goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. On first down, here comes this offense. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Fires to the wideout. He makes a catch. And the Miners want to pick up the tempo. They'll throw it on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. 
Ball falls to the turf. The final pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for this one. It's really easy to get caught up in the emotion of a rivalry game. We did, and certainly this was a huge win. Yeah, and you started, you circled it, you were ready for this team. This is this is the rivalry you put a lot of stock in all offseason. You're talking about this game in particular. You go out and get the dub. It's a relief because you definitely wanted this team. And it's bragging rights for everybody, for the coaching staff, for the fans, but how about for the players as well? For another 365 days, you can talk about how you went out, you dominated, and you beat your rival. A lot of these guys are going to go on to the NFL. They'll be in locker rooms next year. They'll be talking about this for a long time. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.